Yes, my name is Jeremy Ryan, J-E-R-E-M-Y-R-Y-A-N. To be consistent with court records, I will also say AKA Segway. Professional protester and capital agitator Jeremy Ryan will officially be on the ballot this August as a Republican candidate for the 1st Congressional District in southeastern Wisconsin. Ryan, better known as Segway Boy, rose to prominence during the capital chaos that erupted over Governor Scott Walker's attempts to reform collective bargaining. On Tuesday, Ryan successfully defeated a challenge to the legality of the signatures he collected to qualify for the ballot. I would first like to just uh, dispute this claim. Um, it is true I did hold a sign that said legalized marijuana sign here. Um, it's an issue that a lot of people can uh, relate to and an issue that would draw people to you in order to sign the papers. Um, and I don't see anything wrong or illegal with that. When an elector would come up to me to sign the petition, um, I would clearly let them know this is to get me on the ballot to run against Paul Ryan for Congress. And in my first term, if elected, I would introduce a bill on the federal level to legalize marijuana. Jeremy is running for Congress as a Republican, even though he has spent the last three years protesting GOP policies and tormenting the party's elected officials. With Segway Jeremy now successfully on the ballot, the MacGyver Institute, as a public service, thought it would be fun to take a look back at some of his greatest work. We need to start crashing the meetings, and we need to start, uh, in a way, causing a disruption because sitting back is what they want us to do, and sitting back makes them feel a lot more comfortable. This is inappropriate. Um, now the first is voter ID. Oh, here you go. Capitol yeah. um, Police, sure. could you please step up? I'm going to ask. Uh, look, I'm going to ask the three of you to please let us do our job. Will you please? You go back and listen. Well, obviously, you can't do your job. Listen, listen, answer, answer questions listen, can't sir. be answered. You want to, I'm on your side, for Christ's sake. You ought to. Pre well, yeah, you voted yes. yes. You voted yes on that. Step aside and let us try to do our job. So you felt it was unfair after everyone else had left on their own accord and you guys stayed that you were forced to leave. It was arbitrary, in your words. I feel it had more to do with who we were than uh, with what was going on, yes. But you would concede you were the only people in the Capitol besides media and police officers? Um, actually, well, yes, that is okay. true. Thank uh, you. Uh, just for the record, everybody, um, Waukesha County had a warrant for my arrest, and it was uh, geo restricted since it was just for a municipal ordinance violation, meaning that I could only be arrested in Waukesha County or surrounding counties. And then after I had the fight with the Waukesha County Sheriff's Department for disobeying my rights as a disabled citizen to use my mobility device, they decided to take off the geo restriction, therefore making it so that any police department could arrest me over a municipal ordinance violation. Municipal ordinance violation. This wasn't a felony or a misdemeanor. It was a municipal ordinance violation. It's a direct attack on me. It's a political attack from Waukesha County. It's pretty obvious. 